So here we are again with the Extrema. This time we're going to look at actually updating the firmware. So I've already downloaded the firmware off of the site and I've put it on a USB pen drive and plugged that in. So let's uh, power on the Extrema now. And wait while it uh, boots up, which as you remember, takes a few seconds. And here we are, it's just powering up. So that's good. And we're still waiting. Right. Here we are then. Here it is. So now if we go to settings. And we move over to system. And go to system update. Choose USB because that's where we've actually got the file. Pick the file which is there. As you can see it's Extrema 1031. So let's pick that. And it asks us if we want to upgrade the new firmware. So let's say OK. So, OK. And now it's updating. This should only take a few seconds and as you've said the system will reboot so here we are it's now rebooting a few seconds before the actual menu comes up again it's all in real time any second now and here we go it's actually upgrading up grading the actual uh, firmware. So as we can see, it warns us don't turn off the power, kind of obvious, but hey. Um, it's telling us the version of the firmware is 1.0.3.1. And as you can see by the bar that's moving along from the left to the right on the screen, um, it's uh, updating as we speak. So let's just wait a moment while that happens. Talk amongst yourselves. Check your email, surf the internet, do whatever you like while we're waiting. Or if you're really bored, skip forward, I'm going to guess about 45 seconds, in which case, see you in a moment. So here we are, we're about halfway through the firmware upgrade at the moment and I'm going to shut up again and let you uh, enjoy the red bar. And there we go, the last 50% seems to jump extremely quickly. Um, it's good to see that. The system will be restart according to the screen. I think they mean the system will be restarted, but uh, there we go. And here we are, the Extreme is now rebooting itself. So again, we have a few second wait while it powers up and the menu comes up. So let's see what happens when it does. And here we are. As you can see from the top left hand screen, it's not massively visible there, but you'll see it says 1.0.3.1 in the right top left hand corner. In the top right hand corner now we've got all the icons that we never used to have, um, such as the USB, the hard drive, the NAS, etc. So let's take a quick look at settings. So again that's all the same. AV as before, network as before, system, but as you can see it now says it's version 1.0 3.1 and that's all the same. So let's go back to the menu and let's just have a look. So 
So, I so by the looks of it, the icons in the top right hand corner are effectively telling us what's available. So as you can probably not see very clearly from, uh, from this video, but the actual hard drive image is greyed out because I don't have a hard drive. The USB image is lit up because I do have USB and obviously everything else with the exception of Wi-Fi, which again I don't think you can really see but it's the very top right hand corner, is, uh, is lit up. So that's great.